There he is. Oh, yes. Fish on. You got him? Yes. There we go. Oh, here we go. That's the start we want. <laughs> Have a go there! Oh, the boys are on! Finally. Mate, now this is how you start an episode. Double hook up. We're out off the gold today. There's the... Oh, no! I'll was, get... Was a double. Was a double. That's alright, we've still got one. We're out off the gold today. You can see the uh, high rises in the background. We're chasing Spanish mackerel on live baits. Here with Wardy. He was the uh, the the first hookup. He he's done his. Yeah. We've been trolling a couple of laps so, so far. This marks some promising stuff, and this is our first hookup. This feels like a semi decent fish taking a bit of line. Quite often the surface ones are a good one. Well, hopefully we can get a look at him very soon. It would have been nice to convert the double, but it's not always the way. Like I mentioned, guys, we are. Live baiting for Spanish, something I have done very little of. Um, Gold Coast is currently having a, oh, he's a good fish. Uh, a really nice run of mackerel at the moment. So given it's something I haven't done, I thought I'd come out with an export, but Wardy's done plenty of this. He's, he's quite a nice fish. Come out with an expert and show us how it's done. And mate, it's working so far. Yeah. I think he got a nice one there, mate. Hopefully. Nice if we can get a look at him. He's had a few good runs. Had a couple of nice runs. So you'll see they've got the downrigger and the... He's having another go. Downrigger there, so running one rod off the downrigger. One bait on surface. Came across a nice show on the sander. I'll chuck a screenshot up for you. And uh, fish on. Are you doing some of the hard work, mate? <laughs> Bit of motor assist, love it. Oh, <laughs> we paddle onto that. There is a bit of weather around today, unfortunately, but look, it hasn't wor worried the fish so far. Textbook, we were talking about it. You find a good school, you get double hookups. This wasn't meant to be. He should be up on the surface there. I reckon he's got one more good run in him once he sees the boat. One more, you reckon he doesn't like the look here? Oh, he's still a little way away. Yeah. Forget how much mono these reels hold. Yeah, well, when I had a look over it, she, uh, she looked pretty empty. That's why I was <laughs> giving you the assist. <laughs> There's one thing mackerel are famous for, aside from being excellent on the table, it's for having a good account of themselves. They uh, certainly know how to take lawn, fight hard. They're, they're the people's fish, really, aren't they? And as Wardy was saying, they're also very famous for doing a last big run once they get a look at the boat. And that's uh, not the time to be locking up or panicking. Just let them do their thing, because usually after that run, they, uh, they can, you come and get a shot at them. But He's either a real nice fish, or he might have like a hook kind of pin in the side of his face. Yeah, it'd be a fouled one. Yeah, it's a spano, it's a nice one. There we go. No mistakes, mate. Fish, buddy. On the board. And that, guys, is a Gold Coast mackerel on a live bait. That one. That's a fatty. Proper fat one. Unreal. That's a nice fish too. He'd probably be at 10, 11 kilos. Not super long, but he's a nice, fat, deep fish. Yeah. Beautiful condition. A lot of girth on him. A lot of girth. We always like girth. It's not always about length. Girth can uh, do good things as well. But that is an absolute ripper of a fish. Oh, still got a bit of life in him. We're going to process this guy. He's coming home for a feed. They're beautiful eating. But we'll process this guy. And um, I think we should probably get another bait back down there. Now's the perfect time. It's prime time. So. We don't want to uh, miss too many opportunities by playing around. This guy, he's coming with us. Look at that camera work by Wardy. Oh, you might have a full-time job for him. So guys, we're working frantically here. Best time to catch a fish is straight after you've caught. Especially when you just had a double header. Yeah, just when you had a double header. How do you want to get back in the water as soon as possible? So, and we bleed him, keep that flesh in as good a possible condition. If 
for all those playing along at home. That is a school of mackerel right there, sitting tight to the bottom, probably following around this bait, but see they're stacked up. That's a good school, that's where the downrigger comes into play. Right oh, no. baits are back out, or well, a bait. We've got to re rig one of the outfits. Here we go, rigging masterclass. Go the big dog. That's just a standard live bait style rig there, guys. Stinger treble at the back, single strand wire, and a single at the top. Some guys like to go across the nose, I like to go through. Stinger Always in the back. Make sure you. Oh, that's the one for center move, that is. And away he goes. That's a nice big yakker. That's going to get munched, you would think. Have to get munched. Then from there. Priest, how, how long do you like to let it out before you attach it to your rigger ball? Oh, 20 odd metres. So about 20 metres. Attach it to your down rigger. We're in about 35, 30, 35 metres of water here. We'll drop that down to about kind of 25, 30 metres. Get nice and close to the bottom. Or depending on where the bait is sitting or the fish are sitting, if they're higher, bring the bait up to them. And you're in the, in the business. Bait number two. And we're back in the game. <clears throat> There he is, there he is. Oh, yes. Go, go, go. There we go. Hadn't even set the second bait out and we're on. I might, I've just knocked it out of gear. Gonna let this bait sit down and see if we can convert. Maybe just tend to it a little bit here. How's it feel, mate? Uh, he doesn't, doesn't know yet. Like we were just saying, the quicker you can get a bait back in the water, the better. And that's the primest example. Forty straight on. And I'm quietly hoping the floater goes off in the meantime. Well, we might need a bit of forward here. You having a go? No. He's not, he's, he's slugging a bit, isn't he? He's got weight, but he hasn't done anything yet. There he goes. I'll chuck that in the holder. That can get eaten at when it's ready. How's the gaff work, Sammy? Oh, we're about to find out, mate. No Depen pressure. Depends who you ask, really. No pressure, mate. He's a little one. He's a little one? They're harder to hit. He doesn't want to be famous. Guys, if you are not strapped for time, don't rush your, uh, don't rush your gaff shot. Try and get them in the head. You don't want to wreck the fillets. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Stay still, champion. Get them in the gills, in the head. That way, <coughs> that way they're not going anywhere. Immobilizes them, keeps your fillets all good. There you go, sir. That's a uh, probably a bit more of a school class fish. Yeah, not as thick, thick or deep as the other one, but still, another beautiful fish. Gold Coast Spanish mackerel, mate. The iconic. Yeah. Another one for the box. That's a nice fish. Anything to say, mate? Oh, mate. This is all going to plan for you, isn't it? Let's get a few more in the box. Oh, sounds good. Beautiful fish. Guys, we talk about preparation, and this is a prime example. It's a prime bite time now. Have a look at that. Rig's all ready to rock and roll. So rather than trying to manage with a, a second-hand rig that's twisted up, straight on with a new one, back in the game in seconds. All it takes is one knot. All the hard work's done at home. And that is a great indication of someone who's done it plenty of times before and capitalises on opportunities. Good to see, Wardy. The one percenters, mate. The one percenters, that's it. Just like that, we're back. And back in the game. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, fish on, fish on. Yeah. Oh, no! He's done ya. I wonder if you beat that off or not. Yep. Whole lot. What happened there? Snippy boy, <laughs> straight through. Even using wire rigs, the buggers still get you. Fast and toothy. It's all right. We'll get his mates. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yes, go, 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 go. Fish on. Got him? Is he running towards you? Playing hard to get. Oh. Mm. 
Now that is why you have to run wire. Big Mackie boy, snip. Sometimes you just gotta wonder how they miss a hook. How? How do they do it? It's an art form. Go again. Is that it? No. Nah. That's reset. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Fish on. There he is. The surface bait. Oh, no. Yeah, we still got him. Still got him. Oh, oh no. Got a live bait hook there. Oh. There we go. Minor hook up, but we're good. He hasn't got the same sort of gusto as that last fatty. He's trucking along the surface. Mate, if this is anything like how it usually is, I'm gonna have to uh, reassess this dead bait trolling. Usually I'm pretty exclusive on the old dead baits, but this is um, pretty effective. This guy hasn't woken up. He's gonna go mental in a second, I reckon. Or he's small. All right, it's a tuna. Bit of bycatch. Is it really? Yeah, hopefully a little yellow fin. Always nice to see a bit of bycatch. Now, least desirable species here would be a mac tuna. Absolutely. Most desirable, little yellow fin. We'll take a long tail as well, as the consolation, but anything bar the uh, dreaded mackerel tuna stripes would be lovely. So you got to look at him, he is a tuna? Yeah, it's definitely a tuna, there he is. What kind? What kind? It's hard to tell. I think it might be a little bit yellowfin. How common are they? Yeah, it's a little, it's a yellowfin or a longy. Yeah, it's a little yellow. Yeah. Oh, that's a little sashimi. Always good to tick off the the white and red mi uh, meat for the sashimi platter. I do love a bit of sashimi. Well, it has to be eaten, doesn't it? He's only got the back treble in him. I don't want to bully him too hard. Beautiful. I think it's no, it's a fin, is it? I think it's a fin. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Tasty boys. It's um coming home. Or it's coming home. I reckon it's a long tail. It's got the build of a long tail. It just might have a bit more yellow coloration, but beautiful fish. That size, beautiful sashimi, uh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. And a nice bit of bike hatch, my friend. Get a nice cook-up video as well. Oh we're gonna have well, <laughs> even if we don't, we're gonna have a mad feed. Actually one of my favourite liveys about everything. Pike. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yep, that's a fish on, he's only small. He's still head shaking. Find out what those little things were. Yeah, we just went over a good show. We missed a couple of fish there, and uh, it went a little bit quiet. Yeah, there's there's more fish coming up. There's, we've just found it. Oh no, that's a, that's a real one. He just woke up. Right, we're back in the game. Here we go, we're going for the double. We were just talking before, another another couple of fish for the table would be absolutely fantastic. Obviously we've got a lovely feed already, but with the weather the way it's been lately, come back this way please. Come on sir, or don't, either or. You do you boo. He's still having a go, this guy we, we called for a schoolie, a small one, and he's um come to life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes! On the way in, double hook up. Nice one. No! Were you just slowly winding that in, were you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, spewing. That'd have been cool. Just come across there, thanks, mate. Oh! The old coobs. 
There he is. He's a nice fish. No mistakes the second time. Thanks for coming. Well, if you don't mind doing the honours for us there, mate. It's too fast and furious when you got yours, so you can hold that one. That's another beautiful school foot size fish, probably probably better class than school, maybe what eight, nine in the kilo department. Yeah. They're just nice and thick. Nice fat fish. Love making a mess of the boat. Yeah, yeah. That is absolutely lovely. Right, in the box. In the box he goes. It's pretty good looking feed in there. That's three mackerel and a tuna. Beautiful. So both of the better quality fish come on the non-downrigger rod. <laughs> or he's just saying it changes every trip which rod does better. It's definitely a cool style of fishing. I'm gonna have to give it a go, I reckon, mate. Yeah, highly pressured systems. That's probably the only way to go. Gets the bait down there, in their face, and I've seen seen some of your uh, posts catching all sorts as well. Snapper, kingfish, cobia, marlin. Every, everything you'll eat, a sailfish, everything you'll eat a livey. That's got to go off. Got to. Downrig is paying a dollar oh one. Oh, look at it. It's got to go. There he goes. Yeah, dollar oh one called it. Clockwork. Like clockwork. We'll get this out of the way. All right. Well, mate, it couldn't have gone better to plan today. Only thing that we would have done different is had our fish earlier. I think. Yeah. I'm going to hold this in the hand because it's going to get eaten. Might turn the boat around for you. These are nice fish, they're all around that similar class. Oh, he's like, that's that guy, he comes out here and live baits. Oh, I've seen what happens to my mates when they go in his boat. Never good. Take your time, mate. He's well hooked, he's not going anywhere. I must say, we've both been pretty pretty sniper-esque on the old gaff shots. No fillets were wrecked in the making of these gaff shots. And that is mackerel number four. Another beautiful quality fish. Give him a quick little nap. Picked it like a dirty nose. That was paying a dollar oh one that. Yeah. We drove through the fish. They might not be massive fish, but bloody good fun. And great eating size too. Keep them nice and cold. They're gonna be delicious on the barbecue. Well, the weather's certainly not getting any better, but the fishing is. Wind's come up a little bit. Had a couple more liveys in the tank, so we thought one more pass. Why not? There we go, fish on. Didn't even get back to the bait. Probably a good thing because you might be far enough away from that shark. Oh, he's not happy about it. I still want one of these to go off in my hand. The downrig is paying for itself again. Got a little bit upset after we said those mean and nasty things about surface baits being the go. Still having a little bit of a go. Oh, for the camera. Sorry. It's always the way. Well, Wardy, I did say 
you knew what you were doing. You may as well let us know. You didn't you didn't get up this year, but how many years have you Sorry mate? Uh, I, was, I can't let the drag. <laughs> you didn't get up this year, but how many years have you? Oh. How many years did you yeah, I just had a look at that as well. How many years have you guys won the uh, the Gold Coast Mackerel Comp? Uh three or four, but we got picked this year. No good this year. No, we got third. Making up for lost time now though. Yeah. No, I was uh I knew it was going to be one of those comps this year where there's plenty of fish around, you just needed a bit of luck with the right size. And we missed it by a few centimetres. I'll get a little bit of colour, but I reckon he'll go again. There he is that, down there. That shark we run into before stays away. He might be, is he a bit better? I can't know, he's that same sort of size. That would have been the perfect time for a go! <sighs> Got him. No Sean Whale spec gaff shots here. There's not much to dislike about the mackerel. They look bloody cool too. Oh, there's the money shot. He's got a better head on him than you, mate. It's not hard. <laughs> no, it's a cracker. What a session. You well, are. done, mate. Well done. Tommy. That's all we come out with the experts. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna fish this one in the hand. Yeah. It's because I was holding a rod. <laughs> yeah, oh, always the <laughs> way. Here we go, here we go. Got him. Oh, you still got him? Yes. And there we go. Fish on. That was after all the action. Bait ball was gone. Yeah. Understandably not happy about it. Really not happy about it. It's not really much else to talk about, is there? <laughs> when, when you're number five down, there's not much to, else to say. Apart from it's going good, I guess. Boat run for you. Oh, he's a cameraman's buddy dream, he is. Should be about to get a look at him too. This is where he pops up and goes Pretty far away Oh yeah But oh, under Eyes on, there he is From the tail road. <laughs> Oh, look at that. He even does it him all the oh! way. Pointy end. Does it himself. Thanks for coming. Not, not a thick fish. Yeah. And that'll, uh, that'll do, I reckon. That's what we call a wrap, Sam. Home for tea and scones. Cracker. No monsters, but they're all good quality fish. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Number six. He's another nice, fat, deep fish. Should be really good chewing. Sharp teeth on him. That's uh, that's that's a job well done, mate. You know your stuff. I'll give you that much. You've you've converted me. I'm I'm now going to be I'm now going to be a live bait fisherman. I think I'm definitely going to give it a crack. We'll welcome you to the club, mate. Yeah, it's an exclusive club that one, but I'm I'm keen to give it a go. It's uh, it's just too effective. Look how well it worked. Well, we've got probably two hours of filleting ahead of us, buddy. And some boat cleaning. There's, uh, they definitely make a mess. So, <laughs> nah, that was a bloody good session. But we're going to give this guy the royal treatment, get him on ice, head back to the ramp, and um, yeah, that's where you'll catch us next. What a cracking session, mate. Well done. No worries, buddy. Well, ladies and gents, I reckon that is one of the hottest Spanish mackerel sessions I've ever been a part of. We landed six, three each. We had one shark, and we missed I don't know how many along the way. 
absolutely unreal. This live baiting game has a bit of merit to it. Um, no massive fish. I think that's where the baits might come into their own. Maybe they single out those bigger fish. But plenty of beautiful eating size school fish there. I think the biggest one we, we got probably would have gone 10 or 11 kilos. These ones are all around that eight, uh, seven, eight, nine kilo mark. So beautiful eating size fish and you get a really nice return on them as well. Uh, I love eating mackerel. They're very versatile. Curries on the barbecue, crumbed, battered, all sorts of ways. You can eat them however you want and you get the rack for uh, the barbecue as well. Bloody good chewing. And I think there's only one thing left to do, and that's fill it up one of these bad boys. So let's get stuck into it. Now you know it's been a good trip when you've got to pack your fish into a storage tub. Beautiful feed of mackerel. Now I've said it a heap of times, I like to leave the skin on. It actually stops the fish from drying out. I even cook it with the skin on, even if you're not going to eat it, cook it with the skin on. A lot of fat sits below the skin, just beneath it, and uh, that releases into the meat, keeps it nice and moist, keeps those fillets extra tasty. Unfortunately, that is all we've got time for this week, guys. We'll be covering all the gear in a tackle talk in a future episode, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but before we do head off, I wanted to say a massive shout out to Steve for taking me out for the morning. What an absolute insane session. It's always good fun going out with someone who really, really knows what they're doing. Um, you can find all the links to Steve's social media in the description below this video. Now, if you'd like to check out any of the gear we did use in this video, head over to wilsonfishing.com. They've got all the details on all the tackle plus stacks, stacks more. And before you hit the water, make sure you download the Decky app. They've got all your boating information, including weather, both predictions and live observations. They've got all your tidal information, all your navigational information, and stacks, stacks, stacks more features. So make sure you check that out because it is a, it is a boaties best friend. And guys, if you'd like to support the channel, make sure you head over to my website, sammyhitskyfishing.com, and grab yourself some merch. There's heaps available there. Guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing Adventure. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.